Hi, it's Norm McKeegan from Gizmag coming to you from the International CES in Las Vegas and we're here speaking to John O'Neill, the VP of Marketing for Simwave and John's going to run us through USB 3, the much awaited USB 3 which is just about to, uh, to hit our shelves and uh, give us 10 times more speed than what we're used to so we've all been looking forward to to it for a long time and it's just about here. So it's actually here and I'm going to show you a couple products. So we actually have um, several of the products here at the show from our customers. So we're actually a technology supplier. We supply the underlying technology. So what you see here are actually our customers' products. The initial application for USB 3 that we're focusing on is external storage. So what we have here are several different form factors for external storage. The one here on top is a single drive external storage product. The one to the left is a dual hard drive version of that. And then we have some smaller form factor flash based external storage products. So there are actually two key benefits that this demonstration will show. Number one is the speed of USB 3. Of course it's up to 10 times faster than USB 2. And that actually gets most of the press attention, but it's actually not the only benefit. One of the other things we're demonstrating is the fact that it has substantially lower CPU load. So if you've ever used one of these external storage products based on USB 2, what you'll find is that it taxes the processor of the PC significantly. So if you're doing a backup of your media, for example, you may as well go get a cup of coffee because it basically renders the PC useless during that, during that operation. USB 3 has addressed that by putting a lot of that software oriented functionality that was being done on the processor down in hardware. So I can show you a couple demonstrations where you can do large file transfers and there's very little or virtually no CPU tax. Actually what we've done ahead of time is created a file, or I should say a folder, roughly one gigabyte in size, okay? So what I'm going to do is just drag that to the external storage box. So the OS will just do a, a file copy. Just drag that across. Okay. Pay attention because it happens fast. So the OS begins to copy the files. And again, it's uh, roughly one gigabyte of data. And it happens in just a few seconds. Very fast. And the other thing to note was, as you mentioned before, the um, not takes the pressure off the CPU, as exactly. you mentioned. Um, Transferring large files, you can't usually work on that's video right. editing or, or anything that's CPU intensive, but that's uh, right. as you, you would have noticed there, the, um, the CPU um, didn't get above 20%. That's right. Once the transaction is set up, yep. the, the CPU is out of the way and the transaction is actually done in hardware. Yep. So that's, the, that's, that's a the major difference. benefit over, yep. over USB 2. And in case you yeah. didn't yeah. see that, I could actually run a, uh, a longer test that actually just benchmarks the throughput of the device and then you can actually see kind of the sustained load yep. on the CPU. So I'll just kick off a longer, a longer test that will just repetitively first read that file and then write that file to the drive. So it's, it starts by preparing it, putting it on, and now it starts reading it. So you can see the first few runs are at about 280 megabytes per second, and the CPU load is, uh, you know, somewhere between zero and, and two percent. First write. Yeah. So about 280 uh, megabytes per second read, and about 220 on the right side. Fantastic. Yeah. And in terms of what the USB 3 hardware looks like. Um, yes. That's the end that goes into the PC? Yeah, they call that the, uh, the standard A, yep. technical terms, that's a standard A connector. The blue color designates this as a USB 3 or super speed product. And then there's the device side, so this is what would be plugged into the peripheral device. This is actually a standard B connector that has been uh, basically upgraded to support super speed. So if you're familiar with a USB 2 version of this, um, essentially you wouldn't see this very, very top part. They've actually added a secondary set of conductors that carry the USB 3 signals separately. And they've done that to optimize the performance that's required to transmit the five gigabits per second of USB 3. So this would plug into, as I said before, any USB 2 or USB 3 host port, 
but the device side will only plug into a USB 3 enabled device. So if you tried to plug this into a, a USB 2 only peripheral, like a, a cell phone or an external storage product, it would basically signal to the consumer something's not right here. What, what am I trying to do? It's what we call idiot proof. Exactly. Now, to take the, um, the, uh, the other extreme, what if you only had a USB 2 cable? Well, of course you want your brand new USB 3 enabled peripheral to work. So they've designed the receptacles on the super speed devices to accept a legacy USB 2 cable. So again, again, it's future proof. Exactly. Yeah, and the LC one is available uh, probably about February. So these products uh, are going to flood the market this year, and we're looking forward to it. Thank Thanks you. again. Yeah.